John Fetterman has been cast in a Christian Bale movie set in the 1830s by Bale, who said that Fetterman has a perfect face that fits into the 1830s, which is a nice way of saying he has a hideous face. Yeah. <laughs> He looks undeveloped. Yeah. yeah. He looks, he looks like, like he's, he's the really plague. struggling. He hasn't yeah. seen a dentist or a doctor in years. You are! There it is. Hell yeah, boss! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Good! Welcome to episode 1102 of Hard Factor. It is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. Wes has more murders and the Qatar World Cup, but not necessarily combined in the cup of coffee in the big time. Correct. I'm going to mix in a little entertainment news. Um, yeah, sports. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, salt Bay, some of that in, sprinkle it in. Ooh. Did they do that? Like yeah, that. sprinkling like news into the into the coffee. He's Love like it. the blue man group now. That Salt Bay guy. You can he, he he's got guys pretend Salt Bay's all over the world. Oh now. yeah, he's got a franchise of Salt yeah. Bay really? guys now. Yeah, Salt Bay. Yeah, they have to do the salt. The, he like know. travels the world just to do the sprinkle. He has people do it for him. No, he's got like like the blue man yeah. group has fake like is a franchise now. So like that's I not all. The, the, that's not the original blue. No, man? I saw blue man group no. in Austin, and it wasn't the Vegas blue man group. It was it was a traveling blue man group. Yeah, you you audition to be a blue man, and they have like fifty. <laughs> they have like ten. Oh, it's a pyramid scheme. Man. Yeah, it's a pyramid yeah, scheme. Yeah, really expensive one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. we're all stupid. Yeah. So it's like an artistic pyramid scheme. And so is Salt Bay now. Interesting. That's right. Look at that. Uh, well, Mark's got more interesting stuff on deck. He's got English holiday traditions and uh, John Fetterman making his debut on the silver screen. It's a monster flick, Wes. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it <bet>. should be. <laughs> is it a porno? Is it like a like a woman fucks horse porno? He plays so, the Empire State Building in a new King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> he plays a tree. No, yeah, we'll get into it. <laughs> yeah, it may, it'll make sense once you hear the role. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and I've got uh, no other nice way to put this, guys. An abomination to science to close out the podcast mm. today. Uh oh. Complete abomination. Disgusting stuff at the end. Uh, don't forget, uh, Hive Hour and Florida Man Friday podcasts weekly are available at patreon.com slash hard factor or on Spotify, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube subscriptions, memberships, whatever they call it. Leave a five star review on Apple Pods if you want to hear it read back on Friday. Store.hardfactor.com for the very best merch this holiday season. That's all Absolutely. I got. Hell yeah. Is that a is that a niche like hot chick fucks big dummy? Like you it's know? gotta be. There's got it's there's there's be. a porn category for yeah. everything. I know for every cross section of people type. I know. Yeah. Wes, they have the like, demon animated porn. Of course. I know. I just I've never big seen brute fucks little girl. <laughs> no, no, but like big yeah. dumb brute, you know? Yeah. Like they gotta oh, you yeah. gotta make I I know they have big brute fucks oh, little girl. Just, but, you have more you the more it? drool the better. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you can't tie a knot and he's like trying to fuck her or something. He's like after school <laughs> for remedial. Yeah. 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 He has to fail a test. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's sounding out words for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck, fuck, you want to get me yeah. really yeah. into the role. <laughs> yeah. 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 What does remember, that say? Remember, we had a character in the movie that we never finished. That was hmm. that he was a big, dumb brute. And he was in the opening scene and in the credit scene, we we're going to have yeah. him get into porn. And yeah. he was going to be like, like what we just talked about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have any of those? Send them our way. I'd like to check one out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's do the news then, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Uh, fun, not so fun fact. It's going to tie into one of my stories later. Um, did you guys know that since 1960, there have been four executions by firing squad in the U.S.? And guess what state they were all in? I looked Texas? this up recently. No, Virginia, maybe. New York. Nope. Florida. Nope. It's the state that has the craziest religion. One of the craziest religions Utah? in the world. Yeah, you got it. Utah. 
Um, yeah, yeah mm. it's been recent. I saw that. Like, and I think it's still an option to bring back as well. So they banned it in 2009. Okay. Um, but I guess it has something to do with like more. Like one of the guys chose it in 2010. This guy Ronnie Lee Gardner, um, because he said he wanted it because of his Mormon heritage, and he felt that lawmakers were trying to eliminate the firing squad. Um, in oh, he's a purist. Yeah. yeah, he's a purist. Um, another guy. I mean, it gets chose the job it. done, right? It gets the job done. And well, right, how many bullets is it at a time? Well, it depends. So I, there's like this myth about the firing squad where like I, I, it's funny because I was talking to my son about it the other day. He's like, um, I don't know. He, he always asked me about more classic shit. convo, Mor- for morbid shit, man. I know. Um, so he's like in what the firing squad, team, dad, what, yeah. um, he thought that why that, don't they bring back the firing squad? <laughs> yeah. He thought that all all the all the people in the firing squad, except for one, had blanks and only one. And I was like, no, it's the opposite. Like there's like five guys all aiming at the heart and only one of them has a blank. So they never know who actually shot the real bullets. But then I was oh, reading that they all just fire at the same time for that same yeah. purpose. Yeah. But I, I always heard that there was at least one blank. There's no blanks. Yeah. What's the purpose of that? Just to make to get clear conscience. Like so you so never one of the know guys look, if you're on the firing squad, you don't have a clear conscience. You're <laughs> well, firing at these right. people. It helps you, you sleep at night, I guess. I, I think that people I think that <laughs> even though four of the five bullets are real, that I have always been the blank in my fifty firing squads. That's right. Statistically impossible, <laughs> but that's how I sleep at nights. Get the fuck that's out right. of here. Yeah. People have used weird things to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> but then I read that that's that's just a, like a myth, like it's just an yeah. urban legend. Yeah, like everyone's got a bullet. Thing ever. <laughs> yeah. No, if you're in the firing squad, you have a bullet and you know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're in the firing squad. And they they send know. this guy to the firing squad with a blank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you never sure, heard Steve. that myth. Sure, Steve, you didn't kill him. I know I'm not the only one that's heard that bullshit. <laughs> no, Wes, uh, I've heard yeah. it before. Yeah. But when you see when you say it out loud and then discuss the, yeah, the yeah. process of Sounds it, insane, it seems, yeah. Seems crazy. <laughs> that's like if six guys pulled the switch on the electric chair and one of them didn't have <laughs> electricity. Right. Electricity going it's through. It's not me that's pulling it. I'm not hooked yeah. up to electricity. Who probably. knows which circuits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me a fucking break. Uh, so could um, be any of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be. Uh, speaking of firing squads, let's go to North Korea. Um, if you are ever decide to go to North Korea or ever, you know, forced to go to North Korea. Don't. Do, Remember what do, happened to Otto Warmbier? Yes, the oh, UVA yeah. kid. They veggied him. Yeah. Um, well, you know, don't steal um, propaganda and also don't try to uh, distribute or watch any South Korean movies, because if you do, you will meet the same fate as one 16 year old teen who alongside another teen of the same age killed his stepmother. Okay. Maybe he deserved to die, uh, was publicly executed by firing squad. So these are two 16 year olds taken out in the streets to make an example out of, because, um, they were watching South Korean movies, watching parasite. Yeah, Yeah. probably. I mean, what a great Academy award winning. Parasite. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, that's what happened. A resident told the broadcasters Korean service they were told that those who watch or distribute South Korean movies and dramas and those who disrupt social order by murdering other people will not be forgiven and will be sentenced to the maximum penalty of death. And this is a little higher than what they previously said um, last year, which is that anyone caught with South Korean art or media will get 15 years of hard time. Um, but they just decided to go ahead and up it and just Why not? Uh, shoot these guys in the heart. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, no one labor, over there labor. on the on the squad even is humoring the blank scenario. On the, oh no, no we're fighting over the real bullets. Yeah, over there. Yeah. they have hollow points. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, there's not enough to go around, Wes. That's why they're right. fighting over the real ones. Um, there yeah. is one also the labor camp. Labor camp in North Korea is getting full. They fill that up quick. Yeah. So they don't. Yeah, they're full. Yeah. Uh, there is one exception to the rule. Hmm. I heard they were huge fans of um, Squid Game because it was a bunch of South Koreans dying. So they actually do. They like that one. Really? Yes. You can okay. watch it. Yes. Because Squid Game is like a bunch of South Koreans dying. They There was a huge hit in North Korea, apparently. You know, that guy, that old guy is is like a, a rapist. They like uh, the, the old guy in Squid Game. They arrested yeah, him for, that. for rape or something. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah and it's not funny, arrested. but it's funny. Oh, it's that no. guy. Yeah. No, no. He's like, he's so like the sympathetic people's... guy. Yeah. He's yeah. the guy who runs the whole thing. Yeah. Well, like uh, the characters oh, he's played, right. he's, he's like a spiritual symbol to a lot of people. I'm sure that's very tough. Yeah. Yeah, I know mean, he's just a sick old pervert. Yeah, no, <laughs> in just, real life. 
It's the rapist. Tough. What did he do? Yeah. I think he raped a chick, sexually assaulted her. I, don't, I, I can't I remember know. exactly the I charges. I saw it in the news. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, Human Rights Group reported that last year, North Korea executed at least seven people in the past decade for watching um, K-pop videos. So they hate K-pop. They hate South Korean movies um, because, you know, it just shows people what a better life they could be having. Um, well, I think, Wes, so we did K-pop executions, I think, were last year. Maybe they rotate it. Like, they're like, all right. Movies is going to be this year that we'll do shows next year. The year I think after they that. just then add we'll pop again later. I think they just add different various forms of media to the list that will get you uh, firing squatted. Yeah, right. They yeah. But they do them in public just like oh, yeah. whenever they need to remind you. Oh, like, yeah. Shoot you right in the heart, right in front of your mom. Oh, they'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up. <clears throat> I found uh, yeah. I found out it was in. Uh, here he is. I'm popping him in here. Yeah. Uh, in. Do you want this guy inappropriately sexually touching you? Because that's what he oh, does. Apparently. Jesus. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it wasn't. Man. He just in, inappropriately touches. Me. Yeah. He just gropes you. Okay. Yeah. Better He's than rape, rope. I guess. Yeah. Well, hey, good thing he didn't go all the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, right. Silver lining. For this next game, instead of cutting a cookie out with a I'm pen, gonna make you I'm going to rape you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, right, don't let's... do it. Don't do it, guy. Keep it to just being handsy, just being a hands, handsy creep, oh, it, allegedly. Right. Oh, look, I'm in the Squid Games, but I'm secretly running it, and I've been I'm paired up with a team of buxom women again. Uh, <laughs> just my luck. Yeah. yeah. Um, sad sporting new guys, uh, news guys. Will covered uh, soccer journalist Grant Wall. Paul's death yesterday and now a second journalist has suddenly died at the Qatar games, which were bought with bribes from FIFA, even though they had absolutely no good infrastructure in place to hold a World Cup. And it made no sense. No defibrillators, no defibrillators, no stadiums. They just were like, hey, we'll get it done. Don't worry. Here's a bribe. Um, Even the EU it broke yesterday was in on it. Belgium in particular, 16 Belgian EU people, whatever, took over like a 600,000 euros in bribes or. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah. Saudis are handing out bribes left yeah. and right. Um, this latest journalist's name is Khalid um, Al Mislam. He's a photojournalist for a local sports outlet, Al Qas TV. He died on Saturday. Um, you know, they wrote that that uh, we believe in Allah's mercy and forgiveness for him and send our deepest condolences to a family. Uh, we are all Allah's and to him we return. Um, oh, Yeah. The New York Post wrote the circumstances of this death were unclear, but the announcement was made on the same day that a security guard was seriously injured when he fell at Lucille Iconic Stadium. Um, He was a migrant worker, fell about 2 a.m. He's in critical condition. And it also noted a migrant worker, huh? Yep. And it also yeah, noted this same stadium stadium from wall too. Yeah. yeah there's like 5,000 migrant workers that have died over there. Also the guardian pointed out that this latest incident comes days after the Filipino national contracted to fix lights in a car park at the other resort, the training site for the Saudi Arabia national team died in the tournament. Um, and the chief executive of the Qatar world cup, Nasser Al um, Qatar um, then sparked controversy by saying, quote, death is a natural part of life whether it's at work, whether it's in your sleep. Um, When asked about the death, he added, or whether it's building all these wonderful stadiums in 120 degree heat with no water, no rest. We hope you enjoy the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, this has been fucked up from the start. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing has been fucked up. It's been what, what's weird is it's like watching a train wreck in ultra slow motion because it's happened over several years. So, like, yeah. you know, everybody knew that this Qatar thing was going to be fucked up from the start, from the from the moment that those people were probably bribed. And you were like, man, they were probably bribed to give to give Qatar a World Cup. And yeah. then all the way through now, like that a decade later. And mm-hmm. it's still absolutely just- insane because, like, we're all watching the games. We're going to watch the semifinals and finals. And then after the World Cup's over, they're going to demolish a few of the stadiums and no one's going to say anything about it ever again because right. just nothing's right. going to happen. Like they no. killed, probably killed Grant Wall. They definitely killed 5,000 migrant people. With what's up with them. this guy, Wes? Like, yeah. what's the situation? They don't talk shit about migrant yeah. workers? It's unclear how he died. I mean, if listen, if you look at him, he's a he's a larger gentleman. Um, right, did he like fall off of something or like what's the, no, like, they uh, there's did the, he fall the, into poison. Right. Did he fall? In po- no, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, there's no details about this guy's death yet. Um, kind of like yeah, Grant Walls yeah. where there's waiting on an autopsy, yeah. I guess. Um, but, you know, I mean, if your work weird. ever says, you know, we're sending you to Qatar now, if your defense contractors excluded, if your work ever sends you to Qatar, don't go quit. Quit that job. You know? Yeah, absolutely. 
You uh, I mean, I think for guys, like for guys, like for guys who aren't like, I think it's it's tough for people in a situation where you're going to be going there to try to talk shit about Qatar. If you're going there for like business and you're just going to keep your nose clean and keep your sure. head low, you're not nothing's going to happen to you. But yeah, like, but if yeah. you've ever tweeted anything bad about Qatar, they probably know. They can yeah, just do a search. Likely. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, let's move on. Entertainment news, guys. The Golden Globe nominees are out, but I'm not going to even give any respect to the Golden Globes because they fucking snubbed the best TV show out right now in their best TV series drama. White Lotus? Nope. Well, that, that's another snub, Mark. I'm going to oh. read you the list. Let's see if you guys can guess which show got fucked by those morons. Uh, Mark already mentioned White Lotus. I have not seen White Lotus, but I heard everyone's up in arms about the finale. Um, best um, television. the finale. Yeah, a lot of, I saw some guy like punching his TV screen uh, as like a viral clip at the White Lotus. Oh, wow. Um, OK, so here are the nominees. Better Call Saul, The Crown, House of the Dragon, Ozark and Severance. OK, which one got snubbed? Is that what you're asking? Which? Yeah. Well, there's one, in my opinion, clear um, show that should be on this list that got snubbed. Hmm. Out of the ones you just mentioned. No, no, it's not even on. Those are all nominees. Those did not. They did not get snubbed. They are nominated for best television series drama. You're saying which show is yeah. not on that list? Or which we show's not on that list? That you guys, yeah. Mark says I'm, White Lotus. I, I, I've been watching Dark on Netflix, which is actually a German show. It's not the. It's English. not the uh, the the Rings because West doesn't like fantasy, so he doesn't. It's not that. It. Not the Rings of Power. He liked that. Um, he liked that Stanley Tucci thing that he just watched. Uh, oh, that was good, but that's not a, that's not a series. Hmm. Big one. We don't know. Okay. Yellowstone. It's Yellowstone. Oh, Yellowstone. It's Yellowstone. Yeah. It's Yellowstone. <laughs> Costner got nominated for best actor in a TV drama series, but the show not good enough. Better call Saul over Yellowstone. What are you on crack? Well, Wes, <laughs> no. What the the no, thing was that Odin, Odenkirk had the heart attack. Wes, you got to remember. Mm. So he's going to get also the last year. It's done. That's just, right. It's, it was done. the finale year. Yeah. All ties go to the heart attack haver. That's right. That I don't know anything about Severance. Two, Severance two was breakers. okay. It's like an Apple TV. Ozark's not, awesome. House of the Dragons. Awesome. Like the crown. I'm thing. getting into it. No, good. the crown this season sucked is the thing. Like, I think the crown is also probably just given because of the, the, the budget, right? Like it's like such a huge show that this latest season apparently is not that great. Like, and I did try to watch a couple episodes and it was, fucking boring i'm a couple episodes in. it's shot it's shot so beautifully though it's just right like, that's the thing looks, about the crown the crown looks it has a different well, right but same phenomenal. with rings any of other power. show i mean yeah. it does. You should, rings of power should be nominated if the crown's nominated just for uh, the shot, lot of money. I, I agree with that yeah i mean yes yeah. anyway maybe maybe some filming filmography type categories not necessarily right much. those yeah. two deserve yeah. filmography Outfits, awards probably out, not best and, not yeah. not to be in best show neither right, of them really right. honestly Anyway, those Golden Globes, Hollywood Foreign Press, people wouldn't know a good TV show if it woke them up in the middle of the night and said, I don't know why, but I really just want to blow you right now. Is that OK? They'd be like, no, no, no. Need my Z's. Long day of not getting it right tomorrow. So yeah, exactly. Did the Saudis bribe <laughs> bribe their show, favorite shows in, too? Yeah, Is I that think what so. Happens? Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. OK. That's my little joke there. Guys, the Idaho murders are still still unsolved. I don't work on natural delivery. Um, they're still unsolved. Police are searching uh, for a white Hyundai Elantra. The Internet has accused multiple people of being the murderer. And quite frankly, all the morons on social media make it very hard to report on what is actually happening or what is just speculation from some moron living in his mom's basement with too much time on his hands. Right. Yeah, it's tough. That's tough. Um, Oh, when you're researching murder stuff, Wes. It's it hard. is impossible to tell what is just like the ramblings of yeah. a guy who just masturbated after playing World of Warcraft yeah. and what is an actual piece of journalism like yeah. this guy. Check this out. Um, this is a crime circus. He's have one hundred ninety five thousand followers. And this is what he looks like. When he Hell, we're going to discuss several rumors about Jack <laughs> Walter, such as is he the hoodie guy? Did he drive six hours to go hang out at the family cabin in Boise, Idaho on November 13th? Did he? Is he hiding in Africa? Did he have know. motive? Motive is always important <laughs> when it comes to a quadruple passing away. We're going to discuss all this and more. And I know you want to hear more about Jack D and what happened at the Jack D video. We'll discuss all of this throughout this video. Who the hell's listening to anything that's <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Crime Circus. That's drip from Crime Circus. He's got 195,000 followers. So Wes, he looks like a juggalo, except instead of the black <laughs> shit, instead of the black like cry tear teardrops, it's yeah. a red spider. He's crying out of both eyes. Right. Does he root for the criminals? Um, <laughs> no, he's just you know. I mean, he, and he's got like fog too coming through the bottom of his screen. <laughs> and a goat goatee, like a, yeah, like, like a, yeah. That's he, a dirty like, goatee, bro. Dude, he's a weird guy. <laughs> but people eat him up. Um, That's but yeah, a stinky goatee. Yeah. Crime circus. But what we do know, so we don't know anything new, right? Um, they, this jackass guy, he might have fled to Africa. He drove to his parents' house in the middle of the night after being spotted at the uh, food truck. Not sure what's going on, but what we Whoa. do know is that the Moscow police and mainstream media are doing a great job scaring the absolute bejesus out of everyone in Moscow uh, because, A, they have not found the person, persons responsible for brutally murdering four college kids while they slept, and B, oh, and it was the over kid. the weekend, wow. and I imagine beyond this, they are actively issuing extra fear warnings to everyone in town if they aren't already on edge enough, and Nancy Grace and Fox couldn't help themselves Um you know, I'm starting to think my neighbor did this. That's that's how paranoid I'm getting about could the Idaho murders. Could, could be you. me. Could be you. Maybe it is me. Yeah. Did um, you black out that night? Do you remember what you were doing? <laughs> you ever thought when you get drunk, did I kill someone last night? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a it's a long shot, but yeah. You, I check my phone. I didn't. You're frantically like, checking oh. the paper from yeah, paper yeah, you, to paper. <laughs> check oh, thank God, no, no murders from. You know, the police are looking for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> It was a long one. Um, so here's the clip, the fear mongering that Fox News and the uh, Idaho police are doing uh, out there in Moscow. This is actually over the weekend, but I just want to you know it's just insanity. It's been one month since the small community of Moscow, Idaho, was rocked by the brutal murders of four college students. As the desperate search for the suspect continues, police are warning the public to stay vigilant as students and families gather for fall graduation ceremonies urging people to travel in groups and communicate with family and friends as you travel. Because you might get Host of crime stories on Fox Nation, Nancy Grace joins us now. You know, Nancy, how much should we read into that remain vigilant message? Does that speak to the whereabouts of the killer or where they think this person might be? I do not believe that cops have established any symbols of a pattern. For instance, the killer is going to strike. Every yes, four girl. weeks uh, in the early morning of a Sunday. <laughs> She's uh, inventing this guy. I do believe that the cops would have been remiss had they not issued such a warning. Because if there is a pattern, it would have been this weekend in the early early morning hours of what? Sunday. And also it would have been on this, let me say, four week mark of the murders. <laughs> and also there was a major gathering at campus on the night of the murders, there's a huge event at Kibble Stadium, thousands of people there for a game. And this weekend, there was a huge event, commencement. So too many factors were similar for them not to have issued a warning. Do I believe they know who it is? No. Do I think they've established a pattern? No. But I think they did it out of an abundance of caution. Just sign the contract. <laughs> so, yeah. so Nancy yeah. Grace is just creating a, um, you know, serial killer to for everyone to be worried about. And I get it. You want the, the you want to be, you know, give a little bit of warning. But they're like, this guy's going to target every four weeks. He's going to leave. A, yeah, how know, long ago was it? It was uh, it's coming up on four weeks, November and nothing, 13th. And there haven't been new murders, right? Or anything. No, 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 no. They, all so, they've been yeah, doing the, is the, yeah. the best part about her segment right there was everything she was doing was like raising the alarm bells. She's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Uh, do I do I think that they know anything about who the murderer is? Who's definitely still at large and going to kill somebody? No. Do I think they need to issue public warnings and make people scared as fuck? Yes. Yeah. Just- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like a guy predicting the end of the world. Like, it, you know, it's like if it, it would have been last, this weekend, for sure. They were right. it, any weekend. Day. He was going to kill again. You know, every day is another anniversary of the killing. So technically, yeah. it could yeah. be another opportunity yeah. to kill. I really like to get my mind inside the killer's mind. And this is what I would do. Yeah. 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 Uh, Fucking insane. Look, it, yeah, it's it's if you live in that town, it's probably scary, but it's been four weeks. It doesn't seem like it's a serial killer type thing. Maybe it was a 
targeted thing. Well, what's up with this guy? Yeah, they, they fled. They, that seems like the biggest lead, right? If somebody fled the scene, they've already the see. Country. They've already cleared him. He's the guy from the food truck that they cleared. They cleared right. the boyfriend. The they cleared guy. the Uber driver. He the first, fled the country. But the internet's all over this Jack Showalter guy because they think that he did it because he wow. got apparently got kicked out. See, I, I don't even want to say anything because I don't know what some idiot is writing on social yeah. media that's true or not. You know, it's good that there have been more chance, maybe. murders yeah. in the same but. style in Idaho or anywhere near there that's being reported on right that's that's good in terms of the serial killer thing right because it seems like maybe it's not a serial well, serial killer. killers don't often f strike that fast though they go they'll go a year they'll go mm -hmm. months they'll go dude yeah look at the like 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 i just walk into reno you know like serial but this, killers but, but, but this one are more how messy it was the cops the few things they said is that it was just a sloppy job right and there's like so like this was, i don't think like, it was a serial killer this wasn't a well planned out in the middle of the right. night serial it seems killer like a thing. crime it was, of passion it was a, yeah it was a crime of passion yeah yeah, so I don't know. All the stab wounds. Remember the yeah. DC sniper? That was actually without Nancy Grace. Scared. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, Everyone that was, was scared to go outside uh, during yeah. the DC sniper. It was, it was yeah, you like hide below your uh, car car profile, like when you're filling gas up so yeah. that your head wasn't exposed. Right. Oh, that goodness. was happening like once a week with the sniper. Yeah, that was that was that was that was way more frequent. But most of the time, I feel like they're they go a little bit of time between their victims. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, um, it just depends on 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 the on, on the, the psycho. One. But yeah. Nan Nancy Grace says this one is going to strike again anytime. Right. I'm leaning That's four week intervals. Total piece of Nancy shit, <laughs> psychopath, but not a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've charted the data, and it says <laughs> it says clearly he's going to strike again in four weeks. Yeah. My, maybe 30 days. I don't know. <laughs> maybe 30 days. Um, all right, let's get to the big story of the day, or <laughs> the cream of the crop. Top trend of the day, um, sporting news from right here in Austin, Texas. Um, I'm going to put up a picture. You guys, you guys recognize this guy? I only because I saw the story. Right. Yeah. I would not. I wouldn't recognize. But we should. Why, why should we, Wes? Why should you and I? He's recognize the UT that guy? basketball coach. Yeah. He's the UT men's head basketball coach. That is Chris Beard. Look at the arm span. Look at the hands on that guy. He sure looks like Former if he got player, a hold of you in a confined yeah. space like his own house, he could really lay a good choke on you, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he looks like he could be in the dumb guy porn genre. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say yeah. He's, he's so big and, and ogre like <laughs> that he could probably choke two people at a time with yeah. the wingspan yeah. and, and hand size like that. Yeah. Well, um, he looks meat like he could choke you. Some might call those. Those are those are. Oh thick yeah. Hands. Meat meat, meat hooks. hooks. You said. Yeah, meat hooks. I yeah. Mean, yeah. They get those meat hooks on you. Yeah. yeah. Well, he got yeah. he got him on someone in his own house um, early Monday morning around two a.m. And Austin police told ESPN they received a disturbance hotshot call and officers were dispatched to the 1900 block of Vista Lane shortly after midnight Monday. The Austin Police Department's website defines a hotshot call as incidents which are in progress are an immediate threat to life and or public safety. These calls are dispatched immediately as opposed to what the Austin police sometimes usually do, which is not give a fuck. Um, Beard was someone's getting mur someone's about to die. In these hot someone's about to die. Yeah. Someone's in immediate danger. Mm -hmm. They need help. Um, Beard was then arrested on third degree assault charges of, quote, assault of a family household member, impede breath circulation or strangulation, which is a felony. He was choking someone to death. Yeah. Ooh. And and cave you um, said. Yeah. yeah, someone in his family. Here's his mugshot. Oh. Cave, you said that many family violence charges are misdemeanors, but this charge is a felony because the alleged offense was committed by intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly impeding the normal breathing or circulation of the blood of the person by applying pressure to the person's throat or neck or by blocking the person's nose or mouth. So um, it can this that particular crime can face a maximum of 10 years in prison. I don't know if it goes up to attempted murder at any point, but it sounds like if you're, you know, choking someone and impeding them from right. breathing, you know, maybe you're trying to kill them. I don't know. I don't know. Well, Hot shot call. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Yeah. W was he was he grabbed off of this person before he could like there's not many the details. That... There's not any details as of 130 to. Um, Monday, he was still in jail. Of course, we record this podcast, you know, this, the, the night before. So right. he, he was he was in Travis County Jail's bond was 10,000 bucks. I'm sure he's out now, but he was ordered to stay at least 200 yards away from his house. So, Woo. you know, yeah, um, this so is it was on a, this is on brand for UT bas basketball because they're big type choke artists over there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> But it's, just, ask, it's, just ask Kevin Durant and the number one seed Texas who got <laughs> lost in the first round. Yeah, they're number two this right now, I think. Point. They're number seven. 
Oh, they are. Okay, yeah, but they'll blow it too. Yeah. They'll choke. Well, not nah, you, after you're going to drop a few after your yeah. coach uh, gets caught strangling somebody in his home. Now, mm-hmm. when the details come out, do, is there any indication on what type of a family member this could be? Is it? Listen, I think it's I'm, the wife because she doesn't want to press. The person doesn't want to press charges anymore. It's either, it's 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 got to be the wife. I was thinking it might be an older son who is just like a mm-hmm. like an idiot. Like, you know, mm-hmm. he, he participates in big, dumb porn um, movies, but <laughs> and he just can't deal with him anymore living in his house. You know, like if you'd be so frustrated with someone like that living in your house, but it's probably his wife. Um, yeah, it's not good. Whoever it is doesn't want to press charges anymore because he's going to go to jail for a while. If, if Right. His life would be like totally. But, <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. but it's still even if it is like something like that, he's going to have to come clean and then like go to anger management or something. Like, they're going to fire oh, his they're going to fire his ass, they're yeah. fire his ass. Um, yeah. So his, his attorney said it's put out this statement saying, quote, Coach Beard is 100 percent innocent of these charges. Yeah. He should have never been arrested and choke anybody. Ooh. The complainant wants him released immediately and all charges dismissed. It is right. truly inconceivable. So I think you're right, Mark, probably the wife. Um and she's, you know, backpedaling now. After, it got after, out of hand. A, after everyone was safe yeah. and she yeah, realized yeah. that <laughs> she his, breathe his, again. his $5 million a year salary was in jeopardy, yeah. uh, then yeah. cooler heads prevailed and she didn't yeah. want to press charge. She, liked living, uh, she likes living on Vista Lane. Yes. The 1900 he, block of Vista I think he Lane. Has a seven year, $35 million contract. That's cool. Um, I don't know. Ooh. It's fucked up. I don't want to speculate because, you know, uh, domestic abuse and spousal abuse is terrible, terrible relationship to be in. But, um, you know, I don't know. Look, we'll he's, find watching, out more. he's watching late night film and his wife's like, why are you coming to bed? And he's like, I'm going to choke you now. That's yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah, it's tough. I'm, so, I'm number seven in the country. You know, I got to watch this film. Shut up. You know, we got rice tomorrow. <laughs> we got rice tomorrow. <laughs> coach's life it's stressful yeah. yeah um so we'll keep you posted on that uh and the university is you know of course watching it closely have they said uh, anything about what they'll do or they said that they're aware of the situation and we are continuing to gather information and monitoring the we're planning process. on firing his ass potentially but i think it, the I problem think it means the seven year 35 million dollar contract <laughs> they're working yeah. they're working through that right now. i think that if if, it, if if like mark said the wife has already dropped it doesn't want to press charges i i unless the the, the city Decides to press charges, I think he'll be fine. Um, right, yeah, because if there's no charges pressed and yeah. he does some type of like apology tour slash right. treatment, yeah. I think he'll maybe, tour, yeah. maybe survive. Yeah, but don't you think the city's going to want to press charges on a hot shot priority one phone call at 12 a.m.? I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a mistake phone call. That's for sure. It was well, probably done I mean, by, like, like one of the kids. Look at look at somebody like uh, didn't Richard Sherman recently go through something similar, right? Like at, at his house, and then he's on Amazon now doing football games. Oh, I mean, so. look at True. I mean, people get forgiven all the time, and if they're yeah. uh, higher up, you know, look at Chris Brown. Um, no, he got taken away from the AMA. It's this Michael Jackson thing. Uh, well, that's Sherman. like his fifth strike, so you know, whatever. No, like, like I, it was all about the react the Rihanna thing from like 10 years ago, they, they, he did an eight minute long Michael Jackson dance routine with like 20 other dancers. It Mm -hmm. was all done and ready to go for the AMAs. And like three days before the AMAs, they pulled the plug on them. And, and it's why they speculate is because of still because of Rihanna Rihanna thing. Yeah. Well, I mean the the music industry certainly forgave him for a while. Um, they love the checks, you know, it was like the, the, the R Kelly AI thing, you know, they're just, yeah, they're, they're very, very, very much about human rights until, like you know, money's mo- there's like some money on the line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's an earner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, that cup of coffee, cream of the crop, all of it was brought to you by our fantastic sponsor, Upside. Mm. Um, Upside offsets offsets inflated prices by giving you cash back on purchases. Um, you know, with the, with the uh, inflation rising, I've had to cut back on eating out. Um, you know, doing fun stuff. Um, but with Upside, I don't have to because I can still mm. enjoy my favorite restaurants and get cash back for eating there. So it's, you know, it's like, hey, uh, kind of offsets the inflation. Um, whether it's driving less, dining out less, or buying less from the grocery store, we can all agree that there's nothing fun about less. That's why I use Upside. It's an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. So everyone um, with Upside, I don't have to cut back because I get cash back on every purchase. Um, to get started, you go to download the free Upside app, use our promo code HARDFACTOR, get five bucks or more cash back on your first purchase of 10 bucks or more. The app is super easy to use. Oh, yeah. You just, you're, you're on it. 
You see a gas station that's giving you 20 cents back a gallon. You just push a button, say, I'm going to go to that gas station. You go pay for your gas. Upside app recognizes you paid for gas. Boom. Maybe a few hours later, maybe the next day, it's in your account. You can withdraw it to a gift card or just get cold, hard cash. Um, and it's huge for gas savings. Upside. Oh, I use it for gas all the time. It's awesome. Um, yeah. So um, in comparison to credit card rewards and loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. Upside users are earning more than a uh, million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 rating on the App Store. So download the free Upside app. Use promo code Hard Factor. Get five bucks or more cash back on your first purchase of 10 bucks or more. So whenever you fill up next, that's five bucks more cash back on your first purchase of 10 bucks or more. Use promo code Hard Factor. Make sure to use those promo codes. Again, all the information is in the description on the pod, in both YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you listen. That's right. Um, do you guys ever wish you could like bring the whole family together, no matter where they are, even if they hadn't even met before, or it's been a while? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Really do. Mm-hmm. Well, with Paint Your Life, you can. Paint Your Life will create a portrait with anyone you want, uh, want a painting of your children with the grandparents they never met, or have a lost loved one added to an event so it feels as if they were there. Uh, with Paint Your Life, anything is possible even meaningful designs and quotes you imagine that the artist will create it. And I know I've mentioned this before, um, but our listeners sometimes share with us the paintings they've gotten through paint their oh, life on yeah. the discord. Oh, beautiful. St- Steven C sent one in recently a painting. He got recently of his wife laying head to head with their newborn baby. And Holy shit. Speaking of head, that's what Steven can expect to get on a regular basis for the rest of his life. Now, I <laughs> mean, yeah. You, you couldn't possibly score more brownie points. It's a no. beautiful painting, too. Absolutely beautiful. But uh, more importantly, he can do no wrong in that household now. He's a made man. He's set for life. Uh, good job, Stephen. Smart, smart man. Uh, yeah. Painting your life is not only surprisingly affordable, but it's fast, too. You can receive your portrait in as little as two weeks. Send any picture yourself, your children, family, a special place, someone you loved uh, or isn't that's not around anymore. A cherished pet, maybe. Uh, yeah, just send it in and they'll work with you until it's perfect. And yeah, it can get there as soon as two weeks. So if you order now, mm-hmm. you might be able to get it in time for the holiday, certainly by New Year's. Um, you can add a handwritten message to your painting to make it extra special. It makes the perfect birthday, anniversary, wedding gift, holiday gift. It's meaningful. It's personal. It can be cherished forever. Make sure yes. you order your holiday gift right away so you don't have to worry about shipping delays at paintyourlife.com. There's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded guaranteed. And right now, as a limited time offer, get 20% off your painting. That's right. 20% off and free shipping to get the special offer. Text cool. the word factor to 87204. It's right there on the screen. That's factor to 87204. Text factor to 87204. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Um, message and data rates may apply when you text them. Terms apply. They're available at paintyourlife.com slash terms. And it's that time of year again, guys. It's the time of year when people purposely take to the roads in uh, very dangerous snowy conditions in England so that they can have an excuse to abandon their cars at home and stay in a pub overnight. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the best it's, time of the year. It snowed in in season, snowed in at the end in uh, in England. It happened last year in a story we covered and it happened again this year. Very mm. well, maybe at the same exact bar. Uh, if not the exact same bar, it's tag your it for the bear in pub. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the other one was on the top of a big hill. Is this one on top of a big hill? This is no, it's no. just in England. Oh, it's yeah, also it's, it's also it's about hill. one inch of snow. Yes, yeah. Will. I'm glad you noticed that. That's very important. <laughs> That's these are the pictures that the bear in where 40 uh those are the pics yeah. of them being snowed in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even have got off school for that in Virginia. No, you can you can bicycle in that snow. <laughs> Can't drive in it, Will. You gotta you gotta stay at the pub. That's where 40 strangers uh got drunk and slept together in in cots or whatever because it was too dangerous on the roads to go home Come there's on. some of them uh smiling well sh- sure to drive I, I i yeah i mean if you're hammered you shouldn't drive hey we better settle in for the night there <laughs> lads fancy and all around yeah. Uh, yeah mark you nailed it it's just an excuse to get fucked up and stay at the pub and not like, go home yeah yeah, that's a game of telephone. Yeah, that's a I, I don't know if I can drive home in this. Someone and mentions it circulates once, like, yeah, the, someone like mentions fire. It once West yeah. and, and, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's on yeah. one person mentions that it's exactly. too dangerous to drive home. How much were they overnight. giggling and like hoping that when they called home to people that nobody was like, are you sure it's only about a half inch of snow on the yeah. on yeah. the ground? We can't even like sled in this. <laughs> I'm snowing here. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't even make a snowman, lad. Uh, They're all like every all the drunks at the bar. Are like, oh, you, did they buy it? Did they buy it? Yeah. yeah. Like, they bought it. Uh, so many rounds were it provided. It doesn't matter if they bought it. Another point. <laughs> no, yeah, we're staying. <laughs> yeah, fuck uh, it. So many pints were provided by the owners of the Baron, who once again made international news, if it was them last year, or they made it international news this year, which is great press for them. Certainly worth the few rounds they had to give out. Pauline Wilson, the manager of the Bear Inn in East Sussex, told uh, the local news that it was amazing, considering there were many, there's so many people that had never met each other before, people that just snuggled up together and helped each other. It was just so lovely. And uh, yes, Pauline, they were in a great mood because they were doing a sleepover at a pub and they were yeah. snuggling up to each other because they were drunk and horny. Uh, and yeah, probably few, real sex too. I think between. a few people slipped it in. Well, oh yeah, in the cuts, yeah. yeah. Th this look at this old group. This is like their last hurrah. This is like a thing for them. A bunch of old oh, ugly yeah. people spending the night getting drunk till they mm -hmm. get good looking to each other. And then a couple of in. couple yeah. of those folks probably went for for two rounds. You oh know, yeah, couple, di different different people. A beat it too, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> These English blokes see snow in the forecast and they head straight to the pub to get snowed in. That's what they do over there. Uh, yeah, slash their own tires. Yeah, some doctor <laughs> told uh, BBC Radio, uh, it was a long night and quite scary, but we made so many good friends and met so many lovely, <laughs> unkind people. We were safe and warm. It was absolutely amazing. Log fires going, open arms, free food, free hot drinks. They put us all up. So they, these guys just had like a fucking time. <laughs> This is an experience yeah. you could sell where you just you yep. just go to a pub and then they just lock you in yeah. and you have to stay there for the night with strangers. It's like you people would pay good money for that experience. That's why they love it so much over there. That's why I mean, all these towns, the second they get a, a, a dusting of snow, like Mark says, they just yeah. go to the pub and hope that they can convince their their significant others at home or whoever if they if they've got anybody to convince that they can get locked in at the pub lock in. But they should do like a, like a tourism board should like like a, a company should sell this. They just don't know when it's just snow. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't snow that. Pub, yeah. It doesn't snow that often in England. I think well, that's doesn't why matter. Well, well, here's make, well, make it a sleepover. Well, here's what you could do though: is <laughs> right. like in, in a cold climate, in a pub. when it's below freezing, you can just right. turn or the hose. Just turn the hose on. <laughs> just let water form, and then it'll turn into ice right outside yeah. the pub. Some yeah, guy yeah. Just, Some guy just yeah. turns the hose on when it's cold. You get a snow machine. Who cares? Snow machine exactly. You can make it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it would work. It would sell. Uh, there were a few young kids there, like a three-year-old and a, and a oh, six-month-old. So, so that family didn't get the memo that it was an all-night rager for uh, adults to escape. No, uh, the, the normal they, they got they got pushed into a room somewhere. Well, or they yeah. did, and they just didn't care. And were like, kids, mommy and daddy are getting shitty. Don't sleep next to any strangers. We'll be right. home in the morn. Um, yeah. Maybe they just didn't give a shit about parenting that night, and they were like, we're gonna tie one off too. Hopefully those kids got got separated from the crowd, because if not, they saw some weird gray pubes and some mm -hmm. wrinkly old dicks at some point. Their innocence flew out the window. Yeah. yeah. A night a sleepover at the pub in East S in East Sussex is uh, not for the for the young, not for the family. <laughs> Um, it's disgusting. No. It's disgusting yeah. is it's what disgusting. it is. Look at these right. people again. <laughs> it's like it's everybody it's who's like 35 to 65 the who loves to fucking get hammered yeah. every night in that town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old groans. Um, yeah, there's some noises. Uh, bonus dog story for you. This is another fun one. Soon to be United States Senator, current Lieutenant Governor of Pennsylvania, stroke survivor John Fetterman has been cast in a Christian Bale movie set in the 1830s by Bale, who said that Fetterman has a perfect face that fits into the 1830s, which is a nice way of saying he has a hideous face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He looks undeveloped. Yeah. yeah. He looks he like, like he he's the really plague. struggling. He hasn't yeah. seen a dentist or a doctor in years. Yeah. He looks rough. Yeah. He looks yeah. rough. He has that pre-Civil War uh, about to die look to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, he looks uh, like, like uh, yeah. you know, Oregon, Oregon <laughs> travels, like the, the one family that all ate each other in the snow. Uh, yeah. yeah. He Put him like in a that. sepia, <laughs> sepia photograph. He'd look right at right at home. Yeah. Right uh, here is he's Fetterman. Got at least five different conditions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Dama party. Here is yeah. the here is uh, Fetterman on the set of the movie Pale Blue Eye. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> here he is. There's Holy next shit. to Christian Bale, uh, towering over the rest of the cast. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's a pale blue eye is a murder mystery starring Bale as a detective who works with Edgar Allan Poe to solve a murder. Something tells me Fetterman's character committed the murder with his bare hands. Yeah, yeah. Plot spoiler alert: uh, either that or he's going to be one hell of a red herring. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he appears on screen, you're going to assume. He was the murderer. Um, maybe he's maybe he's like a gentle giant who gets tricked into yeah. being murdered, but also considered a suspect until. Well, the if end. he was the murder victim, it took a village. Uh, <laughs> the movie comes out on Netflix, ironically, on January sixth. Uh, seems like maybe they're poking fun of the R's a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe not. I don't know. What's the movie about? Oh, it's uh, about Sherlock it's, Holmes. It's like Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Christian Bale plays uh, a detective who links up with Edgar Allan Poe in the 1830s and it's a dark theme it's actually about the it's same like director. Sherlock Holmes of Baltimore yeah it's the same team that did um the 2013 movie with Bale and the director did uh in Pennsylvania called Out of the Furnace which Fetterman also appeared in uh mm. that was a dark movie about an underground crime scene and Fetterman played the about role a, of an ogre who yes. feeds the furnace under Fetterman, a mountain Fetterman played the role of thug number <laughs> one uh of role he gets cast for 100 out of 100 times when he auditions uh there's only one man on earth that can beat fetterman out for the role of thug in any movie or tv show and that is this guy the crazy <laughs> argentina fan from the world cup <laughs> that looks like he's an actual pirate that's, um, a, gla- that's a glass eye isn't it <laughs> yeah the other, his other eyes a glass eye it's gotta, it's be. gotta be one fake eye one yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> look at no way both those eyes are seeing look at the scar on his forehead <laughs> Looks like he's been in some knife fights. Um, can you imagine Fetterman and that guy both cast as like goons in the same movie? That would set like an all time record. How many legs can you break on camera? You know what I mean? Scariest Christian movie Bale. of all time. Yeah. Yeah. They need to call him up. They need to get him involved in this thing. This exactly. Ground, get, get this guy in that movie quick. Yeah. <laughs> thug number two, thug number one, and thug number two. Uh, Heaven Fetterman. So. <laughs> All time thugs right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for Fetterman. I thought it was his debut, but no, no, he's a he's a he's a seasoned vet of the silver every, screen. Every time Bale comes into Pennsylvania, he must have Fetterman yeah. in his movies. <laughs> Give me that mongoloid again. Yeah. Would you? <laughs> Who's the freak? Who's he's a fucking, senator now? No yeah. way. Very <laughs> professional. Very <laughs> professional. Who's the freak we got last time? <laughs> 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 fucking amateur man give me the freak <laughs> oh he's even dumber now perfect <laughs> he had a stroke yeah well what a stroke of luck yeah oh all right better man always a good time with john fetterman uh, thank you, Mark, for giving us the latest on him. No doubt, he's a uh, he's just a, he's an electric guy all the time. Um, <laughs> yes. And uh, before we move on uh, to speaking of electric, the most shocking uh, scientific story uh, I may have ever laid eyes on personally. Let's talk first about some of the tastiest steaks, burgers, dogs, and desserts I've ever laid my mouth on. Omaha steaks. That's what I'm talking about. The holidays are here. Achieve gifting greatness when you give the gift of perfectly aged, aged, tender, and delicious Omaha steaks. I literally just gifted some just today, and I know uh, that it's going to be a slam dunk loved gift uh, by the people getting it this year uh, because it's lucky, so lucky delicious. Dogs. I would love to get it myself. That's why I know it's going to be a yeah. great gift. Boomerang it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but pay that one forward next year. Exactly. Yeah. Oma- yeah. You're going to end up getting steaks yourself. It's beautiful. Omaha Steaks have put together a delicious selection of various gift packages to make uh, shopping for the ones you love nice and easy. Go to omahasteaks.com and take advantage of 50% off site-wide, plus use code HARDFACTOR at checkout to get an additional 40 off your order. It's an incredible deal. You won't believe it. Everything's 50% off. Load up your cart. Boom. HARDFACTOR code for an additional 40 at the checkout. Omaha Steaks is everything you need uh, to give a gift that's simply perfect. Send an assorted um, an assortment of mouthwatering favorites like the delicious butcher's cut filet mignon, air chilled boneless chicken, ultra juicy burgers, and even easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. I love the burgers. What last spark? What are your favorites from, from Omaha State uh, catalog menu? Burgers for sure. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously the steak wrapped in bacon. Not, not, yeah, the filet. Not bad. The filet bacon wrapped filet is delicious. By bacon isn't mm-hmm. bad. Yeah. Yeah, but the burgers. I, I'm I'm with you guys. The burgers are the best. Uh, the the gift I just sent today was uh, tons of burgers plus oh, yeah. other other goodies in there. The tartlets, delicious. The desserts. Uh, Omaha Steaks has everything you need uh, to send that simply perfect gift uh don't wait order today beat the shipping rush go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code hard factor at checkout omaha steaks is a gift from the heart a gift that will be remembered with every unforgettable bite order with complete confidence today knowing that you're ordering the very best visit omahasteaks.com and take advantage of 50 percent off site-wide plus use promo code hard factor at checkout get that extra 40 bucks off your order minimum order may be required may be required and so um Go there. I, like I'm saying, I, I use the deal. Fill up your cart. Make sure you've hit that uh, mandatory minimum order price. And then uh, the the promo code hard factor will apply. Uh, and yeah, and then you, it's, you you are sending somebody or yourself the most delicious steaks you've ever had for. It's, it's a good move. 50% off plus 40 off on top of that. Fantastic. Delicious and surprisingly affordable. All right. Let's move on to the last story of the, the day. Kid on Steam over there, Wes? <clears throat> No, yeah, what's it, happening, Wes? No. Wes dropped out like four or because, five times because this, outside this kid ordered an Uber house. Eats and it okay. said it was delivered and I let him do it on my phone and it said it was delivered. It's not fucking delivered. So he either put the address in wrong, my fault for letting him do it. But now he's like trying to be scrambling. So that's. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Better get out there before he has wow, a conversation yeah. with the Uber Eats guy about firing squads. No, no. <laughs> they, they said it was delivered and it's not. It hasn't been delivered. So. Oh, shit. Or, yeah. Was it to the wrong address, though? Because Probably. maybe it's next Probably. door. I, even though I triple checked with him that he was putting in the right address. <laughs> check. Sometimes the people that are delivering hit complete too early. Hmm. Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. Okay. It definitely can happen. This so, was a long time ago. Okay, well, he, then he needs to order a new one and just, yeah. just complain about should that. should order some one. Omaha steaks. Should you should. Have. I ate it should. all. I would be eating yeah. Omaha steaks, but it's all gone. Right, it's all gone, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, because you eat it up that quick. Remember, get in there. All right, now let's move on to that last story of the day. And um, <clears throat> as I said at the top, it's an abomination to science that we're going to talk about here. So uh, hold on to your dicks. Like they said up in the story yesterday, <laughs> like it's um, eleven thousand years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, surrounded by leopards. This uh, might touch on that a little bit. Let me ask you guys a question. All right, why do you think it is? Why do you think it is that now, right now, is the time that the robots have finally decided to begin to rise up and bring an end to all humans and all of humankind? Do you know why it is right now? Because we're fucking up the earth too bad. I don't know. Maybe because every thousand years, maybe. Is it is it a cycle like that? Yeah. yeah every some, like, some Matrix, time. like the Matrix nailed it. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it is the Matrix nailed it. I don't know. Uh, I got I got a list here with a, with an accompanying video for you guys. I'm going to run through a list of questions. I thought maybe is the reason why. Uh, is it because we have citizens all over the world, even in the U.S. military, dressing up as animals and banging each other like that pup rabbits? That can't be real. That's got to be fake. No, it's real. Colonel Brian Connolly. Is it because that nope, is so out of the, control? It's the first one. <laughs> the first Gen Z congressman can't even get a D.C. apartment because of his credit score. Okay, West votes for the furries. Um, is it because uh, COVID shut down sanity, like uh, the, in the case where the guy in Virginia got his restaurant gourmets shut down they after COVID was over, for not right? following previous yeah. COVID rules? That's crazy. Oh, wow. Is it because Tom Cruise is openly telling people like Emily Blunt to stop being pussies? Is it because the Washington Post expects Argentina to have an all black soccer team? Is it because rats are eating seagulls Whoa. whole in the streets whole. of Australia? Seagulls eating, rats seagulls eating giant rats whole. Holy yeah. moly, that was whole. incredible. It could be because of that. That's pretty He's going to have to put some poops. Yeah. Is it because uh, we, we're shitty drivers who can't maintain our cars? Uh, and, <laughs> look and then how, we end look up how just crashing those each tires each are three well, times what they should be. Him, that guy crashes oh. right in front of this guy trying to put oh, his fire shit. out on his engine. Uh, is it because we'd rather smoke weed in the streets with bums than get tricked into helping with fake babies as a species in general? Because you know, sometimes you see those types of videos on Instagram. <laughs> that guy was awesome, he knew it was fake. Yeah, he's the best. So he's about he to pass the it on to the bum instead. Is it because oh, yeah. the machines are scared of our human penises that are by far the girthiest of all primates? Hell yeah. Is it because of that? Jealous I think it might sure. be because of the girthy penises. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, guys, 
Come I don't know what furries, it is. Still. Your guess is as good as mine. Wes guesses the furries, uh, maybe the rats, the rat eating seagulls. Uh, but it's whatever the, it is, it's the girthy army men with the dog <laughs> masks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Penises. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, whatever it is, guys, the machines have decided to rise up and end us all starting this week right now, because meet the ecto life facility. I'm going to play for you fellows here. Um, and, uh, what you guys are going to be seeing here is an indoor stadium style building full of at least 30,000 artificial womb bubbles, AKA birthing pot. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. The facility features 75 highly equipped labs. Each state-of-the-art lab can accommodate up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. Every pod is designed to replicate the exact conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. The artificial intelligence-based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. What, and then it blends it if you want it to? Yeah. The app also provides you with a high-resolution live view of your baby's development. A special section in the app allows you to watch a time lapse of your baby's growth uh, and share it directly with your loved ones. Ectolife growth pods feature internal <laughs> speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. Through the app, okay, you can choose the playlist really that your smart. baby listens you sure to. Sure, we're making the right choice here. Yeah. You can also directly <laughs> sing to your baby and make them Thank familiar you. with your voice before birth. Uh -huh. Our goal is to provide you with an intelligent offspring that truly reflects your smart choices. Yeah. Thanks to a 360 degrees camera that's fitted inside your baby's growth pod, you can use your virtual reality headset to explore what it's like to be in your baby's place. Oh, see wow. what they see and hear what they hear. The artificial umbilical cord helps the babies to release their waste products into the second bioreactor. With the help of a delicate layer of engineered enzymes, the second bioreactor can then recycle waste products and turn them back into useful nutrients. Mm. Oh, so your baby this eats way, the shit. facility ensures a steady no and sustainable supply of fresh <laughs> nutrients to your baby. Like. They all eat, eat each other's shit. Oh. Okay. And if you want your baby to stand out and have a brighter that. future, our elite package offers you the opportunity to genetically engineer the embryo before Ooh. implanting it into the artificial womb. Thanks to CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, you can edit any trait of your baby through a wide range of over 300 genes. By genetically engineering a set of genes, the Elite package allows you to customize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, Maybe height, and of level hair. of intelligence. The delivery process is smooth, convenient, and can be done Princess with just Leia a push of a button. You just pop it out After of the discharging fucking the amniotic fluid from the artificial yeah. womb, you know, you'll be able to easily the, remove your baby from the growth pod. Life, my baby. Our post-delivery DNA paternity shit. test helps you confirm the genetic it's too late identity to give him of your baby, eyes. so you can return home <laughs> knowing that your baby is genetically yours. Thanks to our miniaturized bioreactors and long-lasting batteries, you can use Ectolife growth pods at the comfort of your home. Allowing Ooh, oh you to God. incubate Just your baby in your day. building without Thanks. the need to visit our factory. Can you make him girthy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to start my own production company. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get 10 idiots. I want 10 dumb kids. Big. <laughs> Big cocks, yeah. So you guys think about the uh, Ecto Life facility. That's you insane. On you want to invest kind of on it? I think they kind of toned down the sci-fi in that entire ad. The, music, <laughs> the, the, the baby's like, even if in some weird twisted way it, it can help out people that can't have babies, that, that ad scares the absolute fucking shit out right. of everyone that watches it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's weird. My favorite part was how they talk about how smart you are as a decision maker and then go straight into how you can do a VR experience of your own baby's experience from inside the artificial womb. You yeah. are so smart for spending one hundred and eighty three thousand dollars. That'll get tired. Smart after decision like maker. Ten seconds. Yeah. No, it, Who the it, fuck it, can it, afford that anyways. Like that thing's going to be nobody market military. It, it, <laughs> yeah. That's the problem, Wes, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I'd like to put into order for seven million ecto babies. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whoever Speed can. Up, uh, the aging mm-hmm. process. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever can really could make a slave army. That's for sure. Uh, the ad uh, for people putting, uh, you know, people helping like struggling pregnant people or just people struggling to get pregnant is great. There's probably, like Mark said, utility for that for people who are like chemically challenged with conceiving or just it's hate like, having sex. It but like the plot to. um Yeah. Is it the, what's the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? The Sixth Day or whatever it's called. The. Uh... Mm, uh, it's the plot to Aeon Flux, like part, okay. like, ki- kind of it's the Blade Runner. A bunch of sci-fi uh, movies, a lot like the Clone Wars, and it's a stormtrooper creator, basically. Uh, yeah. So a lot, lot, a lot of Star Wars in there, or worse, it could be human batteries or slaves, like in the Matrix. It's literally the plot to the Matrix. Uh, many yeah. nations are yes. struggling to keep their birth rates high enough to support themselves over the long term. Um, and some others like really want those super babies, uh, but maybe, you know, people should just fuck old school style more, more often. And we wouldn't have to literally put ourselves into the plot of the matrix by letting an internet connected AI run human birthing farms. And that's literally the plot of the matrix. Yeah. And it, I was right. The sixth, sixth day uh, and Arnold, the sixth day Arnold and sci-fi all, and all of these horror sci-fi films were, were they humans all are, end are, horribly. In the yeah. Movies. Are just yeah. destroyed. Uh, you, you should need a, a billion licenses and certifications to farm a baby. Uh, and so hopefully uh, this guy, Hashem Al Jaili, uh, a film producer and biotechnologist who made it, made this film doesn't get the funding he's looking for to probably build his slave army inside the baby making stadium. A baby baby bonds. making stadium. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, you know, it sucks. It sucks if you're trying to have a baby and you can't. And, you, you know, that's that's a terrible, terrible thing. Um, of course but it does. this is, is this is, you know, in my opinion, just a weird route to go. Um, you know, uh, and you're, it's not just your opinion, Wes. I think <laughs> I think this is this is one of those ones where you, you see the video and you automatically know how horrible of an idea it is. Yeah. Red flags um, are going off, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 30,000 fake babies at a time. Uh they really need to make adoption easier. There's a lot of things, Mark, they could do uh, better, in, in the world besides adoptions. making 30,000 fake babies at a time. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not fake. Sorry. I mean, like incubating. Th- but the problem is people, they're using this thing of like, oh, it'll help people with infertility issues. And then eventually when the machines don't need humans because they have these uh, uh, made slaves that they made from the machine things, uh, then they they could just use those sperm and eggs to make uh, humans that have no parents. They just are property of the you know AI machines. It's going to be so. a bunch of ecto babies yeah. getting hundreds on their tests. Thanks to chat GPT. The future is weird. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy out there, but that's going to do it for hard factor today. It is wheel time. Also, I think Eric's got something for us. Some fresh news, breaking news. Oh. Okay. It says breaking Sam Bankman freed. Oh, sorry. Something happened arrested. with Sam Bankman freed. Sam Bankman freed. He was arrested in the Bahamas. Hell yeah. SBF oh. arrested in the Bahamas. Good. Oh, okay. Firing New squad. Times report. Yeah. If, if somebody did deserve it. Yeah. It's SBF. All right. Wheel time. Um, guys, I might, I might be, I think I'm going to be off tomorrow, um, because the lady, congratulations to her, closed on her house. So I'm going to be helping her move, um, okay. and getting settled in. Um, How loud is this wheel going to be? Go no, ahead and take is, yourself off. This is not loud at all. And I, and I, um, <clears throat> I, uh, changed it up a little bit to be a little more inclusive. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Here we go. Coffee me. I'll be bringing the coffee. Nice. Mark's got the coffee. Wes brought the dreidel. Wes won't be here. Pat will be back. Uh, That is it for today. Don't forget. Hive Hour and Florida Man Friday bonus podcasts available at patreon.com slash hard factor or on Spotify, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, sub- subscriptions, memberships, whatever they call it on that particular system. Uh, yeah, two bonus pods a week. They are fun. And, great great uh, gift. Great gift. Florida Man Friday. Yeah, great gift. Great gift. Florida Man Fridays every week. You get all the funniest Florida stories each Friday. Plus, Hive Hour is just us sort of like uh, some behind the, she- behind the scenes with us shooting the shit, uh, talking about you know, what we're doing, uh, what we're working on. Also, you know, just um, behind the scenes, behind the yeah. scenes, sure. behind the scenes, inside baseball, <laughs> uh, how the sausage is made, if you will. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. It's fun. It's got a sheen to it. <laughs> yeah. What's what goes on at the Hive Hour? Oh, lots of gambling too. Uh, also, store.hardfactor.com uh, for all the best merch for Hard Factor. Any sort of listeners. health crises we're having or discussed. Right. Yeah. Lots of gout talk on there. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Tons of gout. Don't get that this holiday season. Uh, but most importantly, get out there and have yourself a great fucking day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Okay, now get out of here. Oh, that's right a little now. rough, right? No. See you later, yeah.